Hello my friends, welcome back to the Mobius mod, let us go to Char. I am willing to say, I'm willing to bet, that not everything is going to go perfectly to plan here. I think it's going to be a little bit rough. We're going to Gates of Heck first, and I do have a plan. I've been thinking about what I want to do on each of these missions. Dominion reinforcements are always fully upgraded, that is good to know. That's actually pretty cool, I like that. I think that what we want to do is go for a awesome little possum of a composition that is known as all the guys that can move while walking. Er, <laughs> English is not my first language. Um, I'm American. <laughs> all the guys that can fire while moving. Okay, we got the email from the Bucephalus. Let's get an attack upgrade. These guys in here. Boom, boom, boom. Pull back, and then let's start getting a factory up real quick. Here we go. Alrighty, righty. So, hello, Bucephalus. How are you doing? Commander Rayner, my fleet is fighting the Zergan orbit, and we cannot access your position right now. Drop pods are on the way, and you can request more Dominion troops at your mercenary compound. General Warfield and his forces will try to join you, but those spore cannons are pummeling our forces. If you can destroy them, this will improve our available supplies for the fight on the surface. Nice. Flarian Manx, son of Emperor Arcturus Manx, Prince of the Terran Dominion. That's a very long sign-off. Why does he just do what everyone else does and say, son, for my iPhone? Okay, so we have a bunch of stuff we can get here, huh? Nice. Pride of August grad, yeah. All the mercenaries, we have Stepmen, Swan, Tychus, not really sure those are going to be that useful. Yes, they are. We need to go over there real quick. Whoa! Okay. We're fine. Let's see if we can rescue these guys. <laughs> well, that stuff has been dealt with at least. We need to try to take down the spore cannons real quickly. So, let's start building some diamond backs. I think those are going to be helpful. Let's get a field engineer, field engineer over there. Head over to this side. Diamond back in production. And to get everything going. I think there's a spore cannon over here. Yeah, there is. First one down. Oh, we get credits for it, which is a bit weird, but I'll take it. We're going to get vehicle weapons level three, and that is the first of the bio cannons down. Let's just try to grab all the money we can and be in position for these landing forces. Got to be very careful with our movements here. These guys have stim? Oh, they have stim. 130 HP and stim. So these are uber marines. That's why there's only two of them. That's awesome. Okay. Get them, sons of Korhal. They're going to be great inside of bunkers later. I'm also considering just turning this into a planetary right now. Yeah, we're going to do that. Seems like the play. And then you need to just go over here. And let's make sure that none of this gets uh, improperly saved. And let's go save these guys. They look really strong. Like, really super strong. Aegis Guards, yeah. Let's move. Let's move. We're going to lose this, but we have medics on these sides. Let's get a couple infantry in here. Planetary on the side. Do we want another Aegis Garden there? No, I don't think so. I think we want to do it something like that. And maybe we can get a Tychus to put in a bunker, actually. That will be pretty good. How? <laughs> okay. Okay, sure. Why not? I don't know how this game works. No, please just go in. Here we go. We got places to go. We got people to save. We can kite these guys over, which will be really good. Keep getting these upgrades. Let's get a couple of those guys. Whoa, that's a lot of stuff. We're going to be fine. We're going to be fine. Drop another auto turret into the fight. And we're good. Now we can bring, remember that these Diamondbacks, we've not really gotten to use the Diamondback much, but it has that hardened shield upgrade. So it's going to be able to soak these shots real good. That's why I want to go for a bunch of them. Really, really nice. And then we get this factory. Oh, it's a base with a mule. And it's a perma mule. Okay, you're going to come over here, buddy. And then let's just go real fast. Bring that over. And let's, uh... Move this over so we can get some guys into that planetary that we're about to power out. 
and then you keep building up these amazing Diamondbacks. We gotta get some Goliaths at some point in the future, definitely. There's a lot of things that we're gonna have to do, but right now I'm feeling pretty darn safe. Let's, uh, yeah, we can burrow these right here. And then power build, power build. Come back and make sure that we're okay. That is a lot of mutt butts. Retreat! You're fine. Then on this side, because this is the side that often gets hit the hardest, we can unload some of these, put a Tychus in, and he's going to tear through stuff. He's going to be awesome. Now on this side, I want to go drop a couple more spider mines, I think. And then turn this into a planetary when we have the gas. You guys go over here. Planetary if I get some marines. I guess the cheapest way to get the marines is actually just buying them from the store. Oh, that's a lot of damage. I think we got to get... Oh, yeah, we're fine. What was I saying? We got to go to the store. What did that mean? Oh, yeah, uh, the Merc Compound. That's where we're going to be able to get good stuff. So you are going to rally in. This is safe somehow, and the next group of people is over here, and there's a ghost. I definitely want the ghost. Need more anti-air, though. So we're starting Goliath production. Run! No, 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 no! See if we can make this work. We just don't have a whole lot of anti-air right here. Here's a Healy thing. Ghost is doing great. We rescued them. And then if we can just take this down. Not bad. Go back into Goliath production. And this is a big old gold base, ain't it? Mmm. That's what we needed. Load you guys in. Keep building up on this side. And I think that we're doing great. Things just feel amazing. Those are producing. These are producing. I don't remember where the next one is. I think it might be down here. Definitely feels like it's down there, and our friend is about to fall from the sky. Ah! Tank. Thank you. And we got this shock division. That's gonna be good. Do we need another factory? I'm not entirely sure. We have two bases now that are mining. We have two gas geysers, which is the big thing. So I think that the answer is yeah. We can afford a little bit more production. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. <laughs> they're good, but they're not like that good. What we could use is like one missile frigate just for repair drones on this mobile based army. I like that idea. We're going to give it a go. We'll just move this over here, put you onto the point, land, and then we can use this time to get a couple vultures. I like this idea. Holding stuff off. And there's only a couple more guys that we gotta have fall from the sky and rescue. Okay, so we get missile frigate number one. Let's get vehicle plating level three. I don't really think that we need upgrades on the, on the missile frigate guy. Doesn't seem like the most important thing. As long as we're making sure that everything is going well. Besides that, just play clean, rescue all of the fallen drop pods. Let's go this way and take down some of the defenders. And then what we can do is spider mine this area up. And then we'll head to the top because they eventually talk for, attack from the other side too. Got it. And this one. Oh, Spartan companies, those are going to be fantastic. Mm. Use a fire to take these down. There's a lot that needs to be dealt with here. I'd like to get another missile frigate if at all possible. Two of them so they can heal each other. Pull these guys back, target down the Ultra, and... Let's go. Perfect. This mobile move all fire composition is doing an amazing job. There's a little bit of a siege going on over here. 
We can finish off this infester, I think. Let's get a couple guys on each of these sides just to make sure that we can repair. And there's a spore cannon up at the top, I think, that needs to be dealt with. Oh, 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 hey! Oh, <laughs> fancy spawning you there. I think we might need a reactor. And let's start taking down this production over on this side. And we can just drop some spider mines over here, so next time that they attack with a big wave, we can finish that off. Uh, we don't really have a use for the starport at this point, though. So we're taking down these. Oh, Goliaths can finish off the Brood Lords. Then we retreat. We're being followed, and if this works, yeah, those spider mines are just going to crush through, and that means we can grab both. Don't say that no one, not everyone's going to make it through, Jim. We'll be fine. Let's uh, continue to get some mineral cheap things. Yeah, this seems good. And these guys are going to be mostly okay as well, I think. This is quite the army. We're making really, really, really good time. But we are going to try to get every single rescued group. All the drop pods. Because I'm a little bit afraid of the final push that we're going to have to do. I'm going to try to max out and all that stuff. The spider mines didn't do super good, but we rescued everybody with no losses. Not bad. Maybe we want these. They can be in the group because there's been a lot of broodlords recently. I'm also getting a lot of diamondbacks at this point. I feel like our anti-air with all this is pretty good. It's really punching through those ultras and stuff like that that's going to be the big problem. This base is doing phenomenally, and I believe this base is one of the ones that has one of the final groups, right? So we're just going to be able to defend that one by default. So let's go up here and be prepared for what I think is the final location. Let's keep dropping stuff. We are maxed. Let's just start getting random upgrades then. Because they or they unlock very, very quickly. So finish this off, finish that off, and we are almost good to go. Yep, here's the drop pod. Right on time. Turns out planetary, really good at dealing with that kind of stuff. Oh, no. We only got missile pods. Be very careful. We got the Thors, we got the Mule, and we got a lot of aggression coming our way. Pair this guy, get the Sons of Korhal, and then I think it's time to go. Let's start pushing. Oh, that's a big attack wave. Fortunately, these tanks are just insane. So they're going to be able to defend. I'm going to just drop some PDDs right here to help out in that regard. And let's get some turrets. And start going. I don't want to take the second base. I'm a little bit afraid of it. We're going to try to using the Pride of Augustgrad as a defensive platform. And then you guys are actually going to be moved over to this planetary. So that we can make sure that the main doesn't get taken out. Because the main is where our reinforcements are going to come from. Besides that, uh, Diamondbacks in the front. We don't have any scans or any detectors. So there's a bunch of lurkers that just killed like 80 supply. Okay, you, you, you. Just everything that we can get. Holy. Okay, pull back. Be very careful here. Pull you guys back. Wow, this is a lot. I don't have any scans, which is the rough part. I don't know where that raven went. Is it dead? Darn. Okay, we gotta get a vessel. Not ideal at this situation. Uh, keep getting hellions. Oh, I don't like having to get that vessel. It's painful right now. We can go clear these guys while we wait. And try to blast through. Just target down the infestors every time they mind control. As long as we are targeting them, then they can't do anything too scary. Oh, I'm really, really afraid of these uh, 
infestors now. I'm actually going to get an orbital over here. Just to make sure that I have scans available. Because I don't trust this one guy. How much supply? Four supply. Ooh, that's a lot. Not bad. That's the defense. Unfortunately, this planetary... They just mind controlled the spider mine. <laughs> it's mind control. <laughs> oh gosh. Where's this vessel? Oh, he's so far back. If we can take down the big lurker set, we can irradiate there, split, start taking him out, but be very careful with this guy. It's going okay. Drop more defensive mines. And then bring the Hellions to reinforce. I don't know how to hit this. Oh yeah, that's gonna die. Maybe. Bring this guy over here. Uh, everybody is just on repair mode, I guess, as we keep going. I didn't see what the all right reinforcements was. Something happened. But we're we're busy in a lot of places right now. Okay, you want to target this guy? Yeah, it would. I get it, Jim. Oh, what's going to happen? Oh, nice. Oh, here it comes. Yeah, some Vikings. Right after we killed all the Broodlords. Perfect. Move the vessel forward. This area is secure. We're mining from it. We have 200 supply, which is fantastic. Pull this back. Do not lose it. And it looks like this is their final push. Oh, even more reinforcements. Thank you, Matt. I couldn't even see what came out of there. Keep moving the Diamondbacks forward. They're doing such a good job. No! Oh, okay. Well, we do have the scan available, so just hit that so we can see. Everything is looking all right. Target down. Nidus number one. Nidus number two. And Nidus number three. And we're done. That was a fun mission. I really like the reinforcements come from the sky. During the big push. Give it a reason to not cheese the mission with cool stuff like that. Absolutely phenomenal. Really, really had a great time. And I think that the big movie boy composition was super effective. I'm really happy with it. So guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. And I will see you tomorrow with Belly of the Beast. Peace!